I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll explain how you can create named build configurations to share between Amethyst and the Adobe Flash IDE. These let you create groups of settings to switch, for example, between a debug and release configuration, or do conditional compilation. I'm assuming you already have a project in the Flash IDE, such as Flash CS5 or CS4, which is what I'm using here. This happens to be a simple adventure game with a user interface designed in the Flash IDE and its code stored in the class ActionScript Adventure. The first thing I'm going to do is import this into Amethyst. I select File, New, Amethyst Project Importer. Convert Flash IDE Project in Original Location and click Next. Now I browse to the top level project folder, that's the one containing the Flash IDE's FLA file and I give my Amethyst project a name and I'm going to call it Adventure. Click Next and Finish. And now the project is imported and in the Solution Explorer I see its FLA file and its folders and code files. Now I'm ready to import the published settings. Now first I need to export the settings from the Flash IDE. I can switch to or load the Flash IDE by double-clicking the FLA node in the Solution Explorer. And now I'm in the Flash IDE, so I select File, Publish Settings. And these are my default settings. I don't want debugging enabled, so I'll make sure that this setting is not checked. For clarity, I'll rename the configuration. I do that by clicking up here and entering a new name, Flash IDE release. And now I'm ready to export. To do that, I click this button, select Export. And it doesn't really matter where you save the uh, properties file, which will be saved in an XML file, but I prefer to keep it in the same directory as the project itself. So I browse to that directory and I just click to save the file. You can now import your saved settings into Amethyst. So in the Amethyst environment, I select Project, Properties, and I make sure the Flash IDE tab is at the front. Visual Studio has its own named configurations, and I need to import my Flash IDE settings to one of these. In this case, I want them applied to the Release configuration, not the debug one, so I select Active Configuration Release. If I hadn't exported a profile from the Flash IDE, I'd now click Use Default. That automatically applies some typical settings, which I can modify later. But I have exported a profile, so I just click Import, and I select the profile which I just saved. Now these uh, settings are imported, but I need to activate them by selecting the Enable Profile checkbox. The profile includes source and library path information, and configuration constants for conditional compilation, amongst other settings. Only the most common settings are listed in the properties pages, and if you want to tweak other settings, you can do so either in the Flash IDE or by clicking Edit XML in Amethyst to load the XML from the saved properties into an editing window. Now let's switch to the Amethyst debug build configuration. Currently, this has no Flash IDE profile associated with it. In fact, I want to use most of the same settings for the debug configuration as for the release configuration. And to copy Flash profiles from one configuration to another, I just click the Copy button. If I'd created several profiles, all the available names would now be shown here. These show the name of the build configuration, here that's Release, and its platform, here that's Flash. And these both correspond to the Visual Studio build configurations. The final column shows the name of the Flash profile. Now in this case, I have only one profile available, the one I imported, so I select it and I click OK. The profile settings are now copied to my debug build configuration, the one that's active. I want to make one change though to permit debugging, so I click that option and having done that, I give my new profile a different name. So I call it Flash IDE Debug and then I save all. And now when I switch from one build configuration to the next, notice that the Flash profile name and options change. And when I'm ready to build, run or debug my project, I can apply either configuration by selecting its name in the Visual Studio toolbar, 
which is up here. And using the Configuration Manager, I can also create other named build configurations or create and copy yet other Flash profiles for use with them. So you can see by importing and creating profiles, you can use Amethyst in cahoots with the Flash IDE so that alternative sets of compilation settings are applied when building a project from Amethyst in much the same way that profile settings would be applied if you were building a project from within the Flash IDE. For more information and tutorials on the Amethyst IDE, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.